Hi guys, Genghis Khan here and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. In the last episode we set off from Riften, uh, just down here, and we're kind of on the on our own personal quest to get over to here, to Winstad Manor, which is uh, the plot of land we got from Morthal uh, for becoming Thane, so we can build our own house. Now, it sounds like a pretty you know straightforward thing to do, uh, but it took us 20 minutes to get from there to here. And we've been involved in bear fights and various other random things. Um, so I thought I'd carry on just because you never know what's going to happen. Um, it's kind of fun. And uh, yeah, let's see how we go. So obviously we've got Iona along for the ride, the house call. Um, the reason for this, uh, I'll explain a little later, but it's basically going to save you a lot of time and effort if she is there. Now there's a dragon flying over there. So we've got to be careful of that. And of course, woo, there's the frostbite spider. And on horseback, I can't get a shot, so this is not going to be a good start if Iona dies. Problem is, on horseback, I can't see where the aiming reticle is. Ooh, and there's some more up there as well, which I can't resist, because one thing about the... Um... Oh, yeah, not going to happen. One thing about the Hearthfire DLC is you need around 300 iron ingots um, to make the houses and all the kind of extras that you get with the house which um, again I'll explain once we're there so you know you need to stockpile if you're going to actually get the Hearthfire DLC and you're going to actually um, you know build your own house and things you definitely need to start stockpiling early oh man this is so annoying shadow me get out of the way because I want to I need something off this body yeah I need the venom now the saw goat but I'm not interested in the goat Actually, I'm not interested about anything. Let's just keep to the plan. This episode, we're going to just keep to the plan. We're not going to stop unless we really have to. There's a fork in the road here. Uh, down that way is... If you can just see it in the background, there is this mist watch. Uh, there's a load of... It's kind of a random quest where you'll come across... Oh, man. This is just typical. I mean, I could just run past them. But what's funny in that... I want to show you just how bad horse combat is because <laughs> it's not the best it's very clunky it's not like in Red Dead Redemption oh man Shadowmere is always the same every time I want to pick something up because uh, mounting up is the same as um, as searching so obviously if he's nearby the game decides that I want to mount instead of uh, search the body Ooh, go goats we need because goat horns uh, you need to make lights uh, both for the exterior and interior of your house oh man what's Shadamir fighting he's fighting a troll where'd that troll come from there we go so this again is just one of the great reasons why, you know, if you can do Skyrim without fast travelling, it's just so much more fun because you never know what's going to happen. So anyway, let's get down this... Oh, actually, I'll take Shadowmere, come on. But yeah, like I was saying, the horse controls are not that great. They're not like in Red Dead Redemption, for example. Uh, they can be quite clunky. Okay, got that, got that. I think some of the goat is here. Yes, there is. I'll do it. Right. Okay, let's carry on. Because hopefully I do want to actually make it to Winstead Manor this episode if I can. <laughs> It'd be nice. So like I say, at the moment we're just following this road down to Kynesgrove. Um, most of this area we've pretty much mapped out anyway. You can see on the compass is not that, oh man, what now? Oh man, I can hear a frostbite spider as well, I think. Yep. We need distance and hopefully those two will fight up, fight each other. But as you can see, it's really clunky. Right, fine, get, get off, get off, get off. Just about had enough of the wildlife in Skyrim. <laughs> huh. 
Man. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> so yeah, um, completely lost my train of thought now. So yeah, we're just going to carry on down this road. I'm, I'm not going to stop for anything now. Uh, if we see any more animals in the way, we're just going to ride past them. Because uh, we've pretty much mapped out this area anyway. So, you know, all the kind of areas have either been cleared or at least are on a map. So now I'm just going to fast start. Unless there's something... Oh, hello. What are these? Oh, they're stone cloaks. Oh, no, it's a saber-toothed cat. Okay, fine. You're going to make me get off my horse. Fine. Stick him, Shadow Man. Now, I've got to be careful because I don't want to hit stone cloaks. There we go. <laughs> I don't want some snuffy elf telling me what gods I can and can't worship. Okay, fair enough. Ooh, silver ore, we'll take this definitely. Because, you know, adding to the weight, why not? Now that dragon's worrying me a little bit, but hopefully he's going to leave us alone. I don't really want to get involved in a dragon fight if I can help it. And I think that one's pretty much always there. So let's carry on. Again, we're just following the road. Uh, it's the safest way to travel, to be honest. Um, you survived Mr. Goat because I'm, I'm on a deadline now. So I know for a fact it took me last time about 20 minutes uh, and it wasn't event as eventful as this time around. This time around, you know, the road just seems to be full of beasties. Um, so we're just going to get up. Shadow is out of steam. The good thing with Shadow he is actually a lot better than the other normal horses because um, the last when I tried dry running it last time. Oh, what? No, just not, not, not got the time for you, mate. So you know, <laughs> whatever. Um, the other horses, I could, I couldn't find Shadow last time, so I had to buy a horse, and uh, it was just every five seconds slowing down. It just ran out of steam. Uh, but Shadow seems to go a lot further before he has to stop, which is kind of cool, um, especially doing a long trek like we are. But like I say, all I'm doing on is a giant is what I didn't need. But hopefully if we don't we, need, we don't annoy him, as in if Iona doesn't annoy him, <laughs> then we should be fine. There's Windhelm, you can see off in the distance. So we're just going to take a little shortcut. Well, it's a like shortcut. Let's get across this river here. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, Shadow Me. There we go. I only can find her own way. I'm not really too bothered about her. <laughs> and we just need to rejoin. Whoops, hello. There it is, the road. I'll just check it, it's the right one. Because you know me and my directions, especially. No, it's not. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be. It's too easy. Yeah, we need to just carry on a little bit further this way. Because honestly, I do kind of know where I'm going this time around, guys. So, you know, it's not hopefully going to be as run. Oh, man, now what? Don't do it. If you make me get off my horse, I mean it. I'm going to be seriously angry. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to to lose body. Uh, now, the reason I'm grabbing all these pelts is um, there's one of the cool little additions that you can have on your house. Um, I'll explain it all a bit later just to keep a little bit of mystery. Because <laughs> otherwise you guys will probably turn off. <laughs> yep, I don't, know, I don't know where she is and I don't really care right now. Come on, Shadow Me. Away. Let's go. I said let's go. Go, go. But yeah, this time around there's been so many more animals. Uh, which is good. It's kind of fun. Um... Well, I'm just following this main road. Uh, out of the way, we down to the Stendar. Now, this is a sawmill. Sawmills are where you get lumber, which you're going to need as well for your uh, house. But 
I'm not sure it's the uh, dashes. I'll see if this one will let me buy some lumber just to show you. Um, <clears throat> Because what it basically means is when you're trying to build your house, you have to keep running to these um, sawmills every time you run out of lumber. If you're one of the Jarl's men, you'll get your lumber. Angus mill pays its debts. One of the Jarl's men? Sorry, I thought Skald the Elder sent you. We've got an order to fill, and he's not known for patience. Oh, I didn't know Look, that. Is. If you're heading towards Dawnstar anytime soon, can you give the Jarl this note? Let him know he'll get his lumber. Oh, okay. I didn't know about this random quest, but whatever. Thanks. Uh, and then basically you have a choice here. You can um, buy some lumber. Doing some building, huh? We can deliver it. Uh, it takes costs two hundred gold for twenty logs, which sounds like a lot, but honestly, it isn't. Um, I'll have them hold over right away. And the other option you can building, have as huh? well is to cut we the lumber yourself if you've got you the time. I can't just give away good timber. Okay, I'll look for a job. If you've got an axe, you can always make gold chopping wood. Doing some building, huh? We can deliver it. That's fine. Because another way of doing it Hi. is I think you can actually use this machine yourself. Although I'm st Iona's in the way. Iona's definitely in the way. <laughs> Careful with that fire. Yes, yes. So yeah, i just show you the other way, which is basically you have to go through this whole animation that she's doing right now. Uh, it takes forever and it gives you 10 logs, I think it is. So for me personally, 200 gold uh, isn't that much, especially at this point in the game. So you might as well just pay it, it's a lot quicker. So let's get back on the horse. Uh, I just wanted to quickly show you that. And as you know, uh, lumber mills are easily located uh, with that symbol on your map. So for example, Woodstad Manor, which is just over here. Uh, the closest one we have is at Solitude. So you'd have to keep running over to there or fast traveling there to cut your lumber. But thankfully there is a way, another way of doing it, uh, which is why Iona needs to come with us. Uh, but again, I'll show you all of that in due course. I'm kind of getting a bit ahead of myself at the moment. Now that we're just going to follow this road. Uh, you may remember this area, and um, this is kind of where we had the end of the um, Thieves Guild quest kind of came, brought us out of Bronzewater Cave. Um, Forsaken Cave as well, we've been to quite a few times with various quests. And we're just going to hopefully wrap around, go past uh, the Night, Night Gate Inn. Um, Silver Drift Lair, which remember we recently uh, cleared once we'd finished um, here in Covenyund. Uh, we're going to hopefully go across to Fort Dunstead, which we haven't been to. That's one of the forts you have to attack, I think, if you go through the Imperial quest line of the Civil, of the Civil War. Um, and then basically on to um, oops, Winstead Manor. So we're getting there. We're getting closer. Uh, hopefully I can do this episode, like I say, if no one else interrupts me. Like, who's this random guy? I mean, it'd be nice if you could actually identify people while you're on horseback, but... Uh, it doesn't look like you can, so we're just going to follow this road for now. You can see the blue point on my compass, that's where we're heading. I did a, um, a cursor there just to help me out. I do hate the way that horse kind of kicks out of stamina as well. There's a night gate in where we had to go and uh, kill uh, the, connoiss uh, the connoisseur, I think it's called. The gourmet, that's the one, uh, for the Dark Brotherhood. That's a really fun quest line for the Dark Brotherhood because, to be honest, the majority of the Dark Brotherhood quest line wasn't that great, if I'm being honest. It was kind of pretty boring. So... You know, it's kind of very same. You have to go to a certain area, kill, kill a contact, go to the next one, do the same thing. Uh, I mean, the wedding, the wedding assassination was fun, uh, just because there was various ways of doing it. Uh, but the majority of the quests, to be honest, weren't that great. Uh, whereas in Oblivion, which I started to play again recently, um, you know, they're really varied and quite, quite, quite a lot more fun 
Uh, like it's one way you have to go into the home with a load of other guests and then kind of silently start killing them. Okay, this little scene is left over from again a quest that we've already done. It's kind of weird that it's still in the landscape because uh, we actually helped Sadia um, escape from the. I'm just trying to get my bearings. Um, I think it's this way. Yeah. But yeah, it's really weird that sometimes Skyrim doesn't update. Um, I mean, these guys are all searching for Sandia. Uh, Sadia. Uh, we've killed the leader of those guys, so you know, you'd have thought they would have cleared off by now and not be still harassing any woman they see. But anyway. Uh, there's still two in Whiterun as well, and if you kill them, the rest of Whiterun will go um, ape on you. So, if I'm right. Is that Dunstead? Fort Dunstead? Excellent, we're kind of getting close. Now, like I say, uh, this is one of the forts you have to attack as the Imperials, I think. Um, it has more of a Stormcloak kind of appearance to it. Um, but we're not going to bother because at the moment it's uh, it's garrisoned by bandits. And, you know, they don't interest me getting in combat. I'm not going to clear it now because we don't have time. But as you can see, there's like a longhouse there. It kind of denotes the Stormcloak affiliation but we don't have time so we're just gonna bypass it to be fair I'm just gonna check if this is the road we need to carry on down nope I don't think so we need to go this way and hopefully they won't even notice me I don't think they have to be fair so that's good come on Shadow me you can do it Now we're in Frost Troll and Ice Wraith territory right now, so I've got to keep my eyes peeled. Especially if you're Ice Wraith, because I can never see them. <laughs> now if we check the map as well, I think the next major thing we're coming to is Mizzen Shelf, which you'll probably remember is a huge rumour ruin. Uh, and then we're pretty much there, it's a home of straight, so hopefully we can find it without too many problems. Have I only kept up? No, she hasn't. He's so lucky I'm in a rush, because <laughs> otherwise I'd be taking you down for your antlers. Now there is a, a ruin over there, so I guess we could maybe just run up to it quickly to get it on our... Not now. Oh, I'm not... sorry, not got any time for this. I just wanted to get it on my map, that was it. <laughs> so I'm out of here. Okay, we're going in a straight line now. I think it's probably the easiest way rather than follow the roads. Because I did kind of take a windy route. And it looks like, ooh, undiscovered imperial camp, which should be fun. Because uh, the thing is, one, one of the things that uh, Ulfric says when you finish the, the main quest line is that you can then, you know, attack and basically annoy the imperials. But if you go into an imperial camp with the intent of clearing it out, you can kill all the soldiers, but you'll never get the cleared message uh, because there's always a legate, uh, kind of an officer in there, who's indestructible. They just don't die. So it really makes it quite annoying that you can't actually... Yeah, Get out of my way, Imperial scum. Yeah. Those sentries are rubbish. <laughs> So yeah, you can't really do anything about it. So there's no way of actually, um, you know, clearing the camps. Um, what's his? Oh no, what's going on here? Yeah, not my problem. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave him to it. I really want to get to the building site. Now you can see it on our map now that little house symbol. So hopefully, there it is. We made it. Probably the most eventful trip. <laughs> Hello? Who the heck? Who the heck is this? Okay, why is there a drawer in my house? 
As you remember, ages ago, we, we did start building, um, and then I kind of abandoned it, because I'll be honest, I got bored. <laughs> but at the moment, this is like the first thing you have to build, which is a small house. Uh, and then once you put a door on it, uh, you'll get a little treasure chest just over there, so you can keep your stuff in it. And there'll also be a little workbench there. So the logs that we bought will be in this log pile. There's some clay over there, which you can mine. Uh, I'll just show you that now because normally it gives you everything you need um, so just mine the clay deposit and unlike normal mining this actually just keeps on going until you stop it so you know we just get four clay that's fine it's because we've got 24 logs at the moment and if you can see I'll just show you because I'm not going to be able to crawl over there right now the way we're walking if you see that rock face that's where you quarry stone which again you'll need to build uh, foundations and things like that and that's the same on each site for Hearthfire you'll get your kind of main house uh, which you'll start building and adding on to uh, there'll always be this little workbench here which this is a drafting table where you decide what you're actually going to build for your house there won't be anything on there yet I don't think now because we're already in the middle of doing it so let's just finish off this uh, Let's grab the, the stuff that's in the chest, because it'll normally give you some quarried stone and some clay anyway. Uh, there's a carpenter's workbench where you actually make things. And if we check at the moment, the last thing to do on the house is a door. Uh, but we need some iron fittings, a lock, two hinges and two nails. So luckily, um, there is an anvil. So we can quickly make what we need. So if you scroll down to building materials, this is where you'll be in terms of smithing. Um, and we needed two hinges which we've got some iron fittings just make a few of those for now make a couple of locks and make a couple of nails because you know we've got 250 ingots it's fine and if we go back here now we can actually make the door so we'll do that and it now adds us up all these other options so for example we can make um, an anal pen, armourer's workbench, fish hack tree garden, grindstone, smelter and stable. Definitely recommend adding all of them in um, and each area is different. Each area has a kind of unique aspect. In the case of this one it's a fish hatchery so you can actually um, you know, breed whatever fish you decide you need for, for your potions or your ingredients or whatever. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll study that in more detail in the next episode. For now I'm just going to show you quickly inside and then we'll call it an episode. Um, so obviously with loading screens and everything it's going to take a lot longer. As you can see it's pretty bare at the moment. You've got your little chest here so anything you store in here uh, it's kind of like in any of the houses in Skyrim that you own. It's completely safe, it's not going to disappear from there. Um, and over here on the workbench, uh, I'll just show you what it's like. So basically give you options for inside your little home. So for example you can make barrels, you can make a dresser, you can make an end table. Uh, double bed, square table and chairs, uh, you can put up shelves um, and you can also put some lights on the outside so you might as well do that with some goat horns and iron fittings so we'll do that. Uh, you can add a fire, uh, hanging racks and um, lights on the inside. So that's basically it uh, for this episode. Coming up on the next episode we're going to completely fit out uh, this site and I'll go, th I'll go through the various options and uh, yeah, I hope you'll join me for that. Like I say, I'm also going to add this to a separate playlist just because, you know, it is Hearthfire. Um, and hopefully, you know, you'll find it interesting because uh, it was a lot of, uh, I found out a lot of things, you know, myself just by trial and error. And hopefully, you know, some of these tips not everyone knows, so it might help you out. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for your patience. Uh, I know it's not been the most exciting of episodes, but we got here in the end. <laughs> and I hope you join me for the next one. For now though guys, as always, thanks for watching, take care and peace.